Highway deaths are rising. That's according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Roadway deaths went up 7% during the first three months of this year. That's the highest first quarter in 20 years. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks joining us live this morning in Peoria. Trisha, this is a trend that sadly continued this weekend here in the Valley. That's right. Good morning, guys. We're here in Peoria off of 79th Avenue and Cactus Road. It's quiet out here now, but it was a much different story this weekend. This is where 45-year-old Cynthia Tapper of Peoria died over the weekend after police say that she ran a red light in her SUV and crashed into another SUV that had the right of way Saturday night. This situation only adding to the alarming stats. More than 1,000 people died on Arizona roadways just last year and data from ADOT now shows roadway fatalities have been gradually rising in Arizona over the past decade. Take a look at the numbers. In 2020, there were 1,057 traffic deaths on Arizona roads. In 2019, 982. In 2018, there were 1,010 deaths and 1,000 in 2017. A drastic difference compared to the numbers recorded in 2014 with 774 deaths. So those numbers include everything from DUI, crashes to wrong way drivers. And with all this being said, ADOT is offering driving tips to keep people safe out on the roads. Here are a few of those tips. Don't speed or drive aggressively. They say it's important to never drive under the influence of substances. Of course, avoid distractions while driving. Be sure to wear your seatbelt. Make sure that all passengers are doing the same. And if you're in an emergency situation, you see an emergency vehicle on the side of the road, definitely move over. Give them plenty of space stay extra aware of work zones and be prepared for weather conditions especially during this monsoon season uh, you don't want to be stuck in any of those dangerous driving situations as for the crash that happened out here on saturday peoria police say the woman who ran the red light and died was not wearing a seat belt and was ejected she was seriously injured later passing away at the hospital. The driver of the other SUV is okay. From here, police are investigating. They're trying to determine whether a DUI was a factor involved in this crash. We'll bring you any updates as we get them. For now, we're live in Peoria. Trisha Hendricks, Today in AZ.